Welcome Capricorns, I'm the Empress. Happy to be back with you guys. This is going to be January mid-month 15th through the 31st. And we're going to take a look and see what's going coming in, what's going on with my Cappies. All right, so these are general reads. They won't resonate with every single Capricorn. If it resonates, great, the message was for you. And if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Check your moon and your rising signs. You may find your messages there. All right. So, as well, guys, these can be vice versa, okay? Vice versa. Okay. We got base chakra. All right. What are the overall messages there for Capricorn for January? Okay. We got awareness and okay, so you know that you have to make a decision. I feel like you've been isolating yourself so you don't have to make this decision. I feel like you've been going into hermit mode, but you now know that you have to make a decision. I feel like you feel it that there could be some conflict in the decision that you that you have to make. And I feel like it's a decision between two people here with harmony. Um let's see something here. Base chakra is I have. Okay, so you are possibly caught up in the middle of some drama. Okay. All right. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Someone is... You have to tell... The world, you feel like you have to tell the world. Why is the world card here? Like you have to tell everybody your business. What's going on here? Telling everybody your business. Okay. Why is conflict and defeat here? Okay. King of Cups. You feel conflicted about this situation. Why is King of Cups here? Okay, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You feel like you got to make a move. I'm definitely feeling like there is some manipulative tactics being used here. We got the Magician and the Seven of Swords. Most definitely some tactics being used here. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Eight of Cups, okay, so someone walking away, okay. Fertility is the Mother card, okay. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. We got the Sun card as well as the Strength card, so most definitely a Leo. And we got the Lover's. And the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you are in a relationship with a Leo. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Ooh. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, something's got you worried. Okay, so it's some conf it's some confusion going on. Some confusion. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles, you guys, it's energy, okay? 
So, okay. Well, what's this? Three of Swords and the Devil. The Devil is you guys' energy. The Three of Swords. There could be a third party situation thing going on here. Um, I'm picking up competition. But I'm getting like telling everybody. I'm just getting okay. Why is the why is the I feel like you're trying to work on yourself. You're trying to work on yourself at the same time while all of this is going on. Why is the harmony here? Okay. Six of Pentacles. So this is most definitely like a give and take situation. Maybe there is a balance here. You're looking for a balance. And at the same time, I feel like you guys are protecting your emotions and protecting your, your feelings. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? You guys seem like y'all got a lot going on. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Oh, something's giving you anxiety. This decision that you have to make is giving you anxiety, making you worry, okay? Because you're waiting to see how something is going to work out. If something, if you're able to heal a situation, we got the Ten of Pentacles and a Temperance card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Why is the Nine of Swords here? cups okay so you are still stuck in the past okay we got the eight of swords and the six cups you're still stuck in the past i feel like you are trying to move on but i feel like you're still stuck in the past we got the star card you could be dealing with an aquarius i got the queen of cups you could be dealing with the pisces cancer scorpio but i feel like you are worried about this making this decision There's this juggling going on. You're juggling, okay? I feel like you guys are juggling two people or more. We got the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, definitely. Yeah, you guys are doing some juggling. You're juggling two or more people. <laughs> and I feel like you know at this moment, you know that you got to make some type of decision. All right, so let's get a read. do you have for Capricorn? So at the bottom of the deck, here we go again. Somebody wants uh, to be long-term, wants to be together. Somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants the family. Somebody wants something long-term. It could be you or somebody that you are involved with. But I feel like there is a three-party, third-party thing going on here is what I'm getting. Got the Three of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Empress. There could be like a pregnancy here involved. I see that someone definitely wants something long term. Okay. So now we can get into it. The first card we have, Capricorns, is the High Priestess. 
You could be dealing with a Pisces, but your intuition, okay? So you're using your intuition. And this is also things that are hidden that are kept a secret. The challenge is the Hierophant, okay? This is doing things by the book, traditional, doing things the right way, okay? The quote-unquote right way. So you got the High Priestess and the Hierophant, and both of these are... The High Priestess is more of, you know, um, spiritual, and the Hierophant is more of the by-the-book doctrine. But your intuition is telling you possibly that you need to do the right thing. Now, the Hierophant is also um, talks about marriage, okay? You know that marriage is traditional and supposed to be done by the book. All right, we got the nine of pentacles. So you could be feeling like you want to be single, okay? Your intuition is possibly telling you the best thing for you to do is to be single. Now, the past energy, we got the nine, we got the ace of pentacles, okay? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But this is about a, a golden opportunity, okay? So an opportunity presented itself in the past. And then we have the death card, all right? Scorpio's energy, but maybe you're feeling like, you know, you know that you need to do the right thing, but you're not too sure, okay? Future energy is the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. So, you, I feel like you are not wanting to make a decision, okay? I feel like you don't really want to make the decision. You're not too happy about it, having to make a decision. Okay, so why is High Priestess here? Yeah, we got the lovers. You know you got to make a decision. Okay, you know that you have to make some type of decision. And the lovers is a decision between two people. Okay, you know that you have to make this decision. And you're going to have to drop someone and close that chapter for good, okay? So someone's going to have to get dropped, okay? Someone's going to have to get dropped, and, and you know it. You know this is something that you have to do. I just feel like you don't want to. Okay, so why is the higher thing here? All right, Ten of Wands, okay. I feel like you've been watching someone. You've been watching someone and I feel like you... You possibly, why is the Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands, why is Ten of Wands here? 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 Okay, mm, the Empress. Okay, so... There could possibly be like a lot of, you guys may have a lot of different options, okay? You guys may have a lot of different options. You you like look at like there's always something new out there for you. And it's like you're looking for something new. Like I got the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords. Like, yeah, you guys are living your best life. <laughs> and that's what I'm getting. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles, you feel like, look, I'm single. I'm living my best life. <laughs> Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, you guys, is energy. You feel like you're single, okay? You tried in the past, okay? You possibly tried to do the, you know, relationship thing in the past, and maybe it didn't work. 
All right, so we got Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, oh, somebody's been giving you gifts or giving you money. We got Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, somebody's been gifting you or you them. But somebody definitely has been giving, giving out something that's material. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, Knight of Cups. Yes, someone has been offering you gifts. All right. And you going you decided that's possibly what makes you feel like, you know what, I'm gonna wait to make this decision because I'm getting what I want out the deal. I'm getting what I want. So I'm gonna just wait to make make this decision. Why is the death card here? Okay, yeah. You don't want to really talk about it. <laughs> you don't really want to talk about it. I feel like <laughs> you. You feel like if you want, if whoever wants to leave, they can go. Nine of cups, eight of cups, knight of wands. I feel like you guys are just, you know. Okay, well, queen of cups just popped out. Okay, so maybe there's no communication. Maybe you haven't communicated with uh, with the other person. Could possibly be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm getting on that. There's a cutoff in communication with this Death card, Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so maybe you're starting to worry because this person has possibly cut off communication, or you have cut off communication. But you may be worried that there's some sneakiness going on. You may be worried about there being sneaky. Why is the Four of Cups here? Mmm. You may be thinking that this person is not going to give you a second chance either. Okay, because we got the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So this other person could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And this person wants something long term with you. Man, you may feel like if you don't make this decision that you may not get another chance with this person. So what's this going to be? Look, yeah, this person wants a relationship with you they want something stable and long term but you're thinking about it you're thinking about it i feel like you feel like you're not going to get a second chance with this person why is the judgment card here? of wands could be a leo sagittarius aries i've said that like five times during this reading but there could be some competition okay or this person is trying to make you feel like there's competition um and it makes you feel like you need to hold back from making a decision let's see um what action they're going to take towards you capricorns y'all have a decision y'all got to make What action are they going to take towards Capricorn? We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. But there is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that you need to have about releasing your ex, okay? So they feel as if you're getting, they're getting a bond with you, you're going to have to have this conversation with your ex and let this person go, okay? Let me get one more card. We have engagement, okay? So they're wanting to take things to the next level, okay? So we got let your friends help you, and they're wanting to take things. They're wanting to take things to the next level, most definitely. They want some type of commitment. They want a higher level of commitment with you. They feel like you guys' this bond has deepened, and they're ready for the next level. What's next, okay? All right, Capricorns, y'all got a decision that y'all got to make. Whoever you're dealing with, they're just, they're possibly tired of the back and forth. They feel like you have, you need to make up your mind. 
<laughs> All right. I hope this message was helpful, Kathy's. And until next time, ciao for now.